There are some prominent evangelical Christians who have turned their backs on Donald Trump, and most of them are now uh, supporting Ted Cruz. Well, one of these guys is an interesting character. It's uh, Brian Fisher. He's a evangelical Christian, far-right radio host. He's actually classified as a, a hate host from, by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Uh, and he has a theory as to who's behind Trump's campaign. And this is really just for people who believe in the reality of spiritual warfare. That's all. This is just for that people. So if you don't believe in the reality of spiritual warfare, you don't believe in Ephesians 6, and this, this next couple of minutes is not for you. But my point is you look at Donald Trump... And there is something to me that is unnatural about his level of support. Something there that you cannot explain based on the world that we can see, based on natural causes, based on what is rational and logical and understandable. There is something that is beyond the world of nature that's going on there to prop him up and to create a, this... Uh, this inexplicable obsession that people have with him and this th th this uh, uh, exaggerated support for people that really ought to see through what he's about. Um, you know, it, it's a mystery to me that evangelical Christians in particular would be so enamored with Donald Trump. We know that not every spirit that's out there in the unseen world is a friendly spirit. There are spirits out there that mean us harm, that mean our country harm. And, and politics, this power comes from God. Let's not forget that every bit of political power comes from God. Who is going to be interested in getting their hands on the levers of God's power? It's going to be Satan. He's going to be all over that. He's going to try to make sure that the man of his choosing has God's political power to exercise. And we as believers need to have our eyes open to that possibility. And we need to be praying as intelligently and clear-headedly as we can that God's man would be elevated to the White House. This is what happens when you're an idiot and you can't rebut somebody intelligently. You say, satanic! He's satanic! The devil's on his side! Are you guys, you guys aren't going to vote for him now? Are you going to vote for him? I think Satan's with him. The Christian right has turned on Donald Trump. Was it, hey, uh, two Corinthians or something over here? Was that what, what did him in? Okay, let me try to help out Brian Fisher. Hey, Brian, you want to rebut Donald Trump? Try to use facts and shit that he actually said. As to, Satan! It's Satan! Oh my God! Satan's helping his campaign. For example, he said, ban all Muslims from entering the U.S. That would be wildly unconstitutional. That's a horrible idea. He said, let's actively choose to kill civilians in the Middle East. You love Jesus. You think Jesus would be against that? I don't know. Just throwing it out there. Uh, he said, let's torture, quote, even if it doesn't work. Again, you think Jesus would be for that, bro? Uh, you know, you, you're super Christy, so you, you're supposed to know better than anybody else. But here's the thing. Uh, Brian Fisher actually agrees with all that stuff, so he can't use smart arguments to defeat Trump. And actually, his audience wouldn't be receptive to those arguments either. So this is all they got left. All they got left is, Satan, the devil, the devil's with Donald Trump. That's, so don't vote for him. Did I convince you guys yet? No, you jackass.